Good morning, everybody. I've actually slept in a bit. I really needed a, a good night's sleep. It's a beautiful morning, Nadia. The birds are singing. <laughs> The river, yeah. the That's the river that forms the whole waterfall right here. Yeah. So we're on a, a walking trail this morning with Sil Silvano, who has uh, been living in Foggi Guasu his whole life, so he really is familiar with the, the whole area, the, the waterfalls and and uh, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to be on this trail and learning from him. It's a pleasure to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> the trail today is about an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. Yes. And we're going to see different parts of the waterfalls. And, right. And e you know, each part has a different name. And um, we're coming up to, uh, is it the Three Musketeers now? Yes, next one. We're next going one. to see it right now on the way. All right, so let's, let's have a look. So this is the Three Musketeers. One, two, three. So after the Pangaea age, we had the Ice Age. Yeah. So and the formation of the rivers and the waterfalls, they say used to be downstream, yeah. about 20 kilometers. With the natural erosion, it came up to the river, yeah. and now it is here. So we're coming up now to the Devil's Throat, which is the most famous part of the Iguazu Falls of its power. According to the uh, natives, the Indians from this area, they actually name it the Evolve Road uh, because they want to avoid accidents with all the Indians. When they see something very scary or very dangerous, they used to put a very strong name. But actually, the real name of the falls is Union Waterfalls. Union Waterfalls. Waterfalls. Union Waterfalls because it's right in the middle of the, the border, mm -hmm. right? And by the waterfalls, it's joined both country, Brazil and Argentina, Argentina, right? Right in the middle. But as a popular name, we call Devil's Devil Road. Strike. Yeah. There it is. Devil's Road. We're about to go into the Devil's Road, right into the heart of it, and uh, we're going to put this poncho on because we're going to get really wet. Part of the waterfall here in Iguazu. Woo. That was amazing. By like the power of the of the Devil's Throat, is, like you just feel it vibrating in your body. It's uh, unbelievable. And I got pretty wet too, so I'm looking forward to doing the boat ride underneath. Um, three musketeers and feeling that power as well, but uh, that was something else. Heading down to do the Makuku Safari, which is a little tour here in Iguazu. We're going to do a little bit of a bush walk and then it's gonna finish with a boat ride under the falls, so can't wait for that. Yay! Hey. Obrigado. Bom passeio. Just about to the boat ride down the waterfalls um, here at the lockers so we're gonna put everything away 
So it's goodbye for now, but I will be using the video from the actual boat they provide, so you'll be able to see me. had an absolutely amazing day today checking out the national park and the, and the waterfalls but tonight I've decided that I want to get out of the hotel and I'm going to go and check out the city. Yeah I have to wait a while because the National Reserve is about 15 kilometres um, and no taxis can access the National Reserve so I've got to be shuttle bus by the hotel to the gates where I'll get picked up by a cab and and I'll go from there. I'm gonna go into the bar and uh, have a beer while I wait and listen to this guy play piano because it sounds pretty fucking cool. out this morning and uh, I'm gonna try and get in a helicopter ride overlooking the, the waterfalls before I fly out today to Sao Paulo. It's been an awesome stay here in Foz Iguaçu. I really enjoyed um, the surroundings and feeling the power of mother nature and just recharge the batteries a bit. Um, if I got time as well apparently there's a really awesome bird park near the, the helicopter place so hopefully get a chance to get in there and, and take some photos and videos of some pretty rare species of birds. Yeah, I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know, I've never done a helicopter ride before, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty awesome. It's time to get to the chopper. We gotta do it now, get to the chopper. Here we go. That helicopter flight was amazing. I've never experienced anything like that. It was going up and down and weaving in and out and waterfalls put on a, a rainbow for us, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, I'm gonna make the most of my last hour here at Foz Iguaçu. I'm gonna go across the road here to um, the bird park. I must say, I'm, um, I'm actually very disappointed about this bird park. Maybe I'm a bit naive, but um, for some reason I thought it was going to be like a, an open plan kind of park where you just walked in and saw the birds. If you're lucky enough to capture one of these rare ones, then so be it. But um, fortunately, all the birds in this park are caged, which, um, I don't know, it just doesn't resonate with me anymore. Like, I, I, I don't go to zoos anymore, but, you know, I just don't think having animals caged up for our, our enjoyment is, a, is the right thing to do. Um, it's a bit sad. And uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to look any further in this zoo, in this park now. I'm just going to head back to the airport and catch my flight to Sao Paulo because it's um, just totally against what I stand for. Well, I'm sitting alone with my guitar.
Jean Slatley. Cheers. Cheers. Saúl. Saúl.